Most people in America know that we have property values. Property values are the things that we create for our job, for our life, for our family, for our philanthropic organizations, for anything we're doing that's right for us. Property values are copywritten words, are copywritten photographs that we take of almost anything and we choose to use for us. When we start to play into other people's lawful rights, because some player in the night or day has decided to hack our computer, hack our phones, hack our thinkpads, hack whatever technology you're using, this is when our rights become, well, abated. And I'm not even sure I'm using that legal term especially well, but I'm pretty sure that an upcoming business partner of mine might be able to do that and clarify what we need to know under the law. Something that people don't regard much is the law, and we have to be willing to regard the law so that we, our life can go forward. What I know about people who live in poverty is that they rarely regard human rights law. And once they start regarding that human rights law, their lives begin to change a little bit. Once they hit a brush up with someone like me who rebukes in the house of the Lord, they start to shift a little bit. What I know is that one person can clear up problems in an organization just by being different, just by being appropriate, and just by demonstrating that, hey, what you're doing isn't appropriate. In life, we have moments of time to rebuke our family, possibly, rebuke our friends, maybe, but rebuke ourselves all the time. Some of the hardest times we have is double-checking ourselves, and something I've made a practice of as a pagan priest after I'm channeling what God wants me to say or do, and no matter how hard it can be for me to play the heavy or to play the softy or play the middle, which someone might call, hey, that's schizophrenia. No, it's not. It's called evaluating the situation and establishing what will and won't work immediately in this situation. What will and won't be effective and what can I learn from the situation, but more importantly, how do I get out of the situation without being scathed? In other words, how do I get out of it unscathed? You see, there's always some liar in almost every situation. And what I try to do, and what I've done all my life up until recently, until somebody took away my rights completely, was to produce a life that was safe for me, safe for my family, safe for my son, safe for my business, safe for my philanthropy, safe for my customer service, and safe for everything that I was holding dear in my life. You see, safety is what we deserve most. Security is what we gain from working, and significance is how we impact the lives of people, students, clients, consumers around us.